Hey kindergarten, today you're going to get back your 3D pumpkin, you're going to get back your 2D pumpkin, and you're going to get back that purple background that we painted. I'm going to set my purple background and my 2D pumpkin off to the side because I don't need it right away. We're going to finish up our 3D pumpkin by painting the stem green. As we just talked about, when we mix blue and yellow together, we get green. So you're going to get a little cup of yellow and blue. You're going to gently mix that together with the paintbrush that you're going to get off the supply table. Just gently mixing it together. I got some green. And I'm going to paint just the stem. All right, the stem all the way down to the orange. It's going to be pretty hard to cover up all of that paper bag. Do your best. I know there's going to be some brown showing. When you get this far and your stem to your pumpkin is all painted, this is going to go on the pumpkin patch again. Your paint is going to get thrown away and your paintbrush is going to get put over with the dirty paintbrushes. But you're not quite finished yet. You still need to finish up your 2D pumpkin. All right? So you're going to take that 2D pumpkin, you're going to flip it over, you're going to put dots of glue all over the back of it. And we're going to glue that to your purple background. Remember the last time we made purple by mixing red and blue together. When I use my glue, I use dots of glue going all the way around the edge. Now I'm going to put some in the center as well. All right. Remember, it's like an Easter bunny. It needs to hop across your paper. I'm going to flip that over and glue it down. You might even want to take that paper and flip it over and give your pumpkin a nice back rub this. That will help it stick to your paper a little bit better. So I'm giving it a nice good rub. If it's not working, please let me know. So I've got my pumpkin glued on. The last thing we're going to do is off the supply table after painting your stem and gluing on your 2D pumpkin. So you're going to get a black and a white sheet of paper. Your sheets of paper might look different than this. All right. Just whatever shapes I have out. And you are going to cut out some eyes and a mouth and a nose. And we're going to turn these into a jack-o'-lantern. So your jack-o'-lantern can look like whatever you want it to look like. You probably want to give it a couple nice big white eyes. Your eyes don't have to be circles. They can be different shaped. So I got a couple eyes. I can give them a couple pupils. Our pupils are those little black circles that go on the inside of your eye. Something like this. This is kind of similar to our rainbow monsters that we made earlier this year. So you're going to be adding a face. Notice that I'm making all these things pretty big. We don't want little itty bitty eyes and noses and mouths. My mouth. You can make your mouth look like whatever you'd like if you want it to be a big smiling mouth. I'm actually going to draw a big capital D on my sheet of paper like this, All right? Curves. And when I cut that out, I'm going to have a big open mouth like he's smiling. Your mouth does not have to look like mine though. You can do it like this. So you can flip it upside down and have a worried looking pumpkin. It's up to you. I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to give him some teeth and maybe I'll give him a nose as well. Dots of glue. You could give them fangs. Remember, fangs are more triangle shaped like we did with our monsters. I'm actually just going to give this guy some regular teeth. I think just a couple teeth to be exact. So cut out a rectangle and make a couple snips. So I have a few little teeth. Last thing I'm going to do is I want to give him a nose. I think I'm going to make my nose out of black. And it's just going to be a triangle. Just like a normal jack-o'-lantern. Something like this. All right, so gluing that on. Today, start off by painting your stem green. That means you need to get a paintbrush from up front. Put this on the pumpkin patch when you're done. Put your brush and your paint cup away. Then glue down your big 2D pumpkin. Then start cutting out some eyes and some noses and some mouths and glue those onto your jack-o'-lantern. When this is all finished, 
you need to very carefully put it in the drying rack. This vine might get caught, so you need to be extra, extra, extra careful.